hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make the most moist juicy and flavorful roasted whole chicken to get started here i have my chicken already washed in some vinegar and lemon juice and what i did was cut the chicken right up the backbone this is called spatchcock style and i love roasting my chicken this way because it's so easier to clean the chicken thoroughly and also marinate the chicken So to begin, we'll start by brining the chicken first. We'll add some buttermilk to a bowl, then we'll add some salt and sugar. This will cause the chicken to have taste all the way down to the bone and it will keep the chicken moist and juicy. So we'll give this a good whisk, then we'll add our chicken inside of the buttermilk. Now I did add a little too much buttermilk here which I had to pour some of it off but when you're making yours you add enough buttermilk for the chicken to be submerged inside of it but not too much to where it's overflowing once everything is all submerged in the milk we'll cover this and place it in the refrigerator overnight So fast forward to the next day, I took my chicken out of the fridge and what I did was place it on a draining rack because I want to drain most of that buttermilk off the chicken. We want it as dry as possible, so let this drain and come up to room temperature. Next, we'll go ahead and season our chicken. So in this bowl, I have some of my favorite herbs seasonings and spices i have garlic powder onion powder ginger powder paprika saison seasoning black pepper chicken bouillon complete seasoning i have parsley thyme and basil and here i have some mustard oil what you want to do next is combine all of the seasonings by mixing them really well then we'll add the mustard oil you can add any oil of your choice it doesn't have to be mustard oil or any oil that you have on hand. We will mix until it forms a paste. We're looking for a runny consistency. And as you can see, uh, I needed some more oil. It was not enough. So I did decide to pour more oil until it reached the texture and the consistency that I desire. Once it reaches a runny consistency, we will then start applying the seasonings to the chicken making sure that it's you know nicely seasoned all in the cracks and the crevices we will lift the skin of the legs and place the seasoning in there lift the skin of the breast place the seasoning in there and stuff Once we're all done, we'll let this rest for about an hour or two before we place it inside of the oven. Now we will place this in a 375 degree oven for about an hour and 20 minutes. After 30 minutes, as you can see, I place some foil wrap over my wing tips because they were getting kind of dark and to prevent them from burning, I place the foil wrap over them. Now what we'll do is baste the chicken. This will keep the chicken nice and moist and super juicy. You take the same juices from the chicken and you baste it. And we will place this back into the oven and let it continue cooking. You can baste it for a second time before it's done. 
And after about an hour and 20 minutes, the chicken is finally done, guys. And let me tell you, this is the best roasted chicken I have ever had. It is so juicy, so moist, and so delicious. Look at that. I can break it apart with my fork. I don't need no knife or anything. This chicken is so tender and juicy because we brined it overnight. It's perfect for the holidays. I do hope you guys give the recipe a try. And today I'll be enjoying my chicken with some sauteed Brussels sprouts, some roasted garlic potatoes, and a fillet mignon. I will give y'all the recipe to this fillet mignon another day, but I totally enjoyed my plate. And I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!